Hi everyone, welcome to Level Fields. I'm going to give you a very short demo of the application so you can see how it works. You are on the Explore Scenarios page. That's where we compare the different strategies. There are about two, 24 different strategies on Level Fields to choose from. Uh, some of them are very rapid fire events that are happening constantly. They get up to a thousand events a year. Other strategies have fewer events uh, with larger price movements per event. It's very easy to see and compare the strategies. They're on what we call scenario cards. In this case, this strategy here is a collection of events in which an activist investor purchases stock or purchases over 5% of a company, pushes for changes that can often favor shareholders. You can see we explain exactly what each one is right here with the description. When you look at how the scenario stacks up against the SPY, this is the S&P 500, you can see that's about 500% greater return just in the last three months. The average event in the scenario moves by 14% and the win rate, that is the number of events that move in the expected direction of the scenario is 100%. The expected direction is identified right here with this bull. Bulls go up, uh, bullish indicator, bearish indicator suggests that the scenario events will drive the price down. And then you can look at you know how those negative events are actually performing as well as part of your shorting strategy or your, your put option strategy. So when you pull into this page, you can filter by you know, bearish events, bullish events, the win rate uh, to make sure that you have the greatest chance possible of success. You can see the average returns over one day, 10 days there for you to review. So let's look at a single scenario so you understand what that looks like. I'm going to pull up a one year period for this activist investor scenario. Here you can see the same data points over a year. This is actually a 6% one day return on average for all the events in the scenario. These are each event. And so how it works is if you decided you want to follow this scenario, you can create an alert or you can filter the results to your liking and then create an alert you know, based upon whatever kind of information you're looking for, the PE ratio, financial filters, create that alert, save that alert. That goes into your My Alerts area. It will alert you by email or text message, depending on your choice. When you get that information, you then go to your brokerage account, make the trade and go. As you can see, uh, these events are pretty substantial for one day events, 16% for Pinterest, 14% for Western. And if you want to look for a longer term view, you pull up the table view, you can see what that looks like over the span of months or weeks and see what happens to the stock over time. Uh, if you want to hone in on what a particular equity is doing, pull up the company profile page. Those events are pegged right to the chart. In this case, you're looking at PayPal as multiple significant events on here. So you don't have to go back and forth between the news and the charts. Uh, that information is also down here in the latest events area. We collect all the news related to that equity as well. And we have some key metrics over here on the side. You have a watch list where you can use to track your investments over time, see how they're performing and watch list news. Uh, and then you have all the latest events that you can then filter by your watch list, set alerts to your watch list so that if an equity you hold has a significant event, you'll then know about it. I hope you enjoyed today's demo and I hope we can help you make money.